And a special thanks and shout out to Community Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram of Martinsville, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film this 1990 Mercury Grand Marquis. Hello everyone, today let's take a detailed in-depth walk around look at this very nice and very well maintained 1990 Mercury Grand Marquis. And this Grand Marquis is a top of the line LS trim and is painted in light titanium clear coat metallic and features a titanium padded half vinyl roof. Interior is a titanium premium cloth trim with simulated American walnut. And of course the Grand Marquis is rear wheel drive based on the legendary plat Panther platform and is powered by Ford's Windsor cast iron 302 cubic inch 5 liter overhead valve 16 valve pushrod V8 engine. It does feature sequential multi port fuel injection and creates 150 horsepower at 3200 rpm, 270 pound feet of torque at 2000 rpm. With an 18 gallon fuel tank, EPA estimates are 15 miles per gallon city, 22 miles per gallon highway with 18 miles per gallon combined. It consumes 5.6 gallons per 100 miles driven and features a 3,832 pound vehicle weight with the overall gross vehicle weight rating of 5,302 pounds. The sole available transmission was Ford's AOD 4-speed automatic overdrive transmission. First introduced in 1983 as its own model, Ford split the full and mid-sized cars and the Marquis nameplate remained a Fox-based mid-sized car, and the Grand Marquis became the flagship of the brand. The only full-size sedan for Mercury, which was a first since 1951. Related to the Crown Victoria and the T Lincoln Town Car, the Grand Marquis was distinguished by the Town Car st style opera lights and French rear window. It was an alternative to the recently downsized Buick Le Sabre and Oldsmobile 88. 1988 saw the first Mercury Flying M badge, and 1990, Several revisions were made in the name of safety improvements. Most notably was the addition of the driver's side airbag that was standard on all Grand Marquis and Crown Victoria vehicles. Steering is on the Grand Marquis is power-assisted recirculating ball. Wheels are the optional 15-inch steel wheels with locking wire style wheel covers and have P215-75R15 tires. Brakes are dual hydraulic power-assisted with 11-inch disc up front, 10-inch drums in the rear, and there is no ABS or any brake assist. And this is a very long car with a 114.3 inch wheelbase and a 213.6 inch overall length. Around the front is highlighted by the soft rounded curves of the Mercury grille and does feature four halogen headlamps. Taking a slower look around the front, as you can see all high beams on, all four headlamps are lit and it also features the hazard warning lights and not shown are the cornering lamps on the lower part of the bumper. Overall the front of the vehicle is in very nice shape, however there is some paint damage on the hood to be expected for a 28 year old vehicle. Our 
Alright, let's take a look at the interior. And this vehicle does feature the illuminated entry system. And the interior is very nice and very well maintained. It's still in great shape. Soft velour upper door trim with vinyl padding on the armrest and carpeting on the lower. Satin silver trim frames the power mirrors, power windows, and power door lock switches. And you do have the light American walnut trim with bright illumination lamps and door poles and door mounted speakers. Driver and passenger feature a six way power seat with manual recline. Of course, this vehicle does seat six passengers with the middle bench seat up front. The seats are very comfortable and very supportive. You have automatic headlamp controls. You have also got a leather wrapped tilt steering wheel. The seats feature soft gathered cloth, high adjustable head restraints and pull down center armrest. They do lift up to reveal a center seat with a lap belt. All outboard seats feature three point seat belts which was a first for the 1990 vehicles. And pan through the interior and show in more details. As you can see, the power steering is nice and fluid. This is the first year for the driver's side airbag, so the four spoke steering wheel is replaced by the iconic brick steering wheel. It does feature cruise controls and your horn buttons at the top. The leather wrap is still good on the steering wheel. Unique to the Mercury is the silver painted horizontal speedometer with lower coolant temperature and fuel gauge. And here's some nighttime illumination shots. Moving over the top of the dash, as you can see, it's still in very nice shape. It doesn't have any rips or tears or any kind of sun damage to it. It does have simulated stitching to simulate leather. At the top, two large air vents. You've also got a clock, which features the date and time, as well as the elapsed timer, automatic climate control. You've also got an AM FM stereo cassette player with bass and treble with the balance and fade controls, and a cigarette lighter. This vehicle has never been smoked in. Power antenna, as well as your rear defroster. Pull out ashtray, and down below is an aftermarket cup holder. As stated before, the armrests do lift up. There is a center lap belt seat belt for a center passenger if ever needed. And overhead, just a manual dim and mirror. Nice large sun visors with a light group, it does feature illuminated vanity mirrors. Alright, let's take a look at the rear seat. As with the front seat, the rear seat is very nice and very spacious as well as very comfortable. The same door treatment on the front doors continue in the rear with the soft velour trim. Rear seat does seat three across. It is a non-folding bench seat. It does feature the gathered cloth on the outboard seats as well as three point seat belts. A little bit of cloth damage in the C pillar. However, overall the interior is very nice. And the rear seat does feature a center armrest. It does fold out. It does not feature cup holders. Headliners in great shape. Seat back mat pockets.
Inside the glove box, you'll see the trunk release button. Just press it and then pop the trunk open. And as one would expect with these large Panther platform cars, the trunk space is absolutely enormous. 21 cubic feet. It is a deep well storage area. It is oddly shaped, but it does feature a nice shelf for the full-size spare tire, jack, and tools. And the Grand Marquis, it is fully lined and fully carpeted. And this does conclude our in-depth walk around look at this very nice and very well equipped and very well maintained 1990 Mercury Grand Marquis LS. We hope the review of this little time capsule was very informative. And as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.